today I've been aboard this research vessel seeing new evidence that Britain's taste for cheap fashion could be affecting marine pollution. If you're talking about a, a dress at a price point of five pounds, it almost makes it a single use item, just the same as a, a single use coffee cup. Something that we're using for a very short period potentially, and yet it has a long persistence as waste. This net gathers textile microfibers. They're tiny strands shed from clothing, often during washing. Visible under the microscope, cheap synthetic fibre can lead to long-lasting pollution. It might be hard for people to feel strongly about a form of pollution they can't even see. Is it doing any real harm? The laboratory evidence indicates that they have the potential to cause harm to marine life. Think about marine pollution and what springs to mind are things like plastic bags and packaging. Yet this is a form that you can't even see without a microscope. Yet one of its main sources is likely to be right at your fingertips. MPs are now investigating clothing's environmental footprint and some fear the growing trend of fashion for a fiver. What we heard from the experts that gave evidence to us in our inquiry is that, frankly, if your dress costs a little bit more than a cup of coffee, you're going to treat it in the same disposable way. On these four leading online fashion sites today, we found dresses for a fiver or even less. These examples are almost entirely polyester. In total, we found almost 350 dresses for under a fiver in various materials on these sites. Responsible retailers are doing a fantastic job to give us both value on the high street, but also to look at the environmental and the ethical impact of the products that they're selling. As scientists research whether there's an environmental price for cheap fashion, firms told us they acknowledge their responsibilities and that being affordable doesn't make clothes disposable. Chris Choi, ITV News.